let's now do something fun. Let's go up here and add a part. We're going to add a cylinder. Let me bring it over here. Go to the size property, change it to 0.2 comma 7 comma 7. Hit enter. Let's make sure our part is anchored and we're going to change the color of the part. Pick any color you like. I'm going to select blue and rename our part to trampoline. To make a trampoline is very simple. Just go to the properties of the part. Look for a property called assembly linear velocity. Expand that. This is a vector three. To turn this part into a trampoline, all you need to do is to make sure the part is anchored and you can set the Y component indicating how high you want the trampoline to go. For example, now I'm going to put in 250. Let's play test and take a look. There it is. As soon as I hop on it, I'm bouncing on top of my trampoline. Now let's take a look at how to script a trampoline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this part. And now let's name this trampoline number two. We're going to move trampoline number two out over here. And let's change the color of trampoline number two to something else, maybe yellow. Or maybe, let me pick something else, maybe pink. For my trampoline number two, I'm going to go and turn off the assembly linear velocity. So instead of 250, I'm going to set it back to zero. Now if we play test, the second one, the pink one, is not going to bounce. The first one is still going to bounce because we didn't change the property of the first one. We changed the property of the second one back to zero. Let's play test and take a look. All right, so here's the first one. Still bounces very high. And here's the second one. It does not bounce at all. Let's now use script and add a bounce to the second trampoline. I'm going to go to my trampoline number two. I'm going to add a script. Let's first declare our part. So we have local part equal to script dot parent. Then we're going to go and change the assembly linear velocity of this part. So we're going to say part dot assembly linear velocity. The assembly linear velocity is a vector three. So we're going to say equal to vector three dot new. Remember, you only want to change the Y component because you want to bounce straight up. So for the X component, it's going to be zero comma, whatever number you want to put in here. Let's make it bounce really high now. So we're going to put in 1000 comma zero. And now let's play test and take a look. Both our blue trampoline and our pink trampoline should work now. Here's the blue one. We set the blue one at 250. And now let's go to the pink one. And whoa, look how high it goes. That is crazy. All right, guys, so that's how you make a trampoline in Roblox. You can either set the properties directly manually, or you can use script to script your trampoline. Another way to script your trampoline is instead of using assembly linear velocity property, you can just say velocity here and it would work the same way. But in case you haven't heard, velocity is deprecated. So for any future work, you want to use assembly linear velocity in place of velocity. And that is how you make a trampoline in Roblox.